Hi everyone, my name is Castiana and I'm a member of the Data School DS33 cohort at the Information Lab. So today we're going to learn how to fix common calculated field errors in Tableau. So one of the most common errors when it comes to Tableau is the cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate error. Uh, so this error happens when you're trying to calculate the value between an aggregated field and a non-aggregated field. Uh, so first, it is important to understand the difference between aggregate and non-aggregate. So aggregations are computed at the level of detail in the view, and they will return one value for several records, for example. And non-aggregate fields are computed for every record in the underlying data, and they, they will return one value per record. So in this example that I have, I created this formula. Uh, so I have here profit divided by account distinct of order ID. You can see here that we have this error from over, over here, the cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate error, the one we talked about. And in this example, profit is a non-aggregated field. That means that this will return many values. While count distinct of order ID, the one from over here, this one is aggregated. So this will return a single value. And the reason why we have this error is because Tableau cannot calculate the result of the above formula, just because we have both aggregate and non-aggregate variables in here. And that's why the error appears. So there are many ways to fix the error in Tableau, but now the best way to calculate the total profit per distinct order ID is if we put sum of profit divided by count distinct of order ID. So if I aggregate profit and put sum of profit, you can see that the error disappeared. And now we can use this uh, to our analysis. So another error that we might see in Tableau is this one from over here. So expected closing parenthesis or comma. Um, so this happens a lot. Uh, especially if you have a lot of um, characters. So if you have a long calculation, uh, this can get trickier when writing a longer or more complicated ex expression. But it's very self-explanatory, so it's very straightforward. You just need to put a parenthesis or a comma. Uh, but in for this example, I'm just going to close this profit on here. And here we go. The calculation is now valid. So another error that we might see when we work in Tableau is this one from over here, the syntax error. So Tableau has this error because something is missing from the calculation and, and this could be an operator or maybe an identifier. So in this example, we used an if statement to identify the profit greater than 200 as over 200. We also told Tableau that we will identify the profit that does not meet this criteria as something else with the else statement. However, we haven't told Tableau how we want to identify the profit which doesn't meet the criteria. And that's the reason why we have this error. And in order to solve this, we need to tell Tableau how to identify the, um, the profit that doesn't meet the criteria. So for example, if we add 200 or under, after else, then this error will be resolved. So you can see here, now the calculation is valid and we can go ahead and put this to our dashboard. So we have here another error, uh, cannot add string and float together. So this is also very common in Tableau. And the problem here is that for our calculation, our two fields have different data types. So region is a string and cells is a float. Therefore, Tableau cannot add them together in a single calculation. So if you are trying to mix an integer or a float with a string, then you will need to use a conversion function within your expression. So if you want to mix them together, you can just add the str function around the numeric field to change the numeric field into a string within the calculation. So I'm just going to put str 
before sales, just so I can change sales and convert them into a string. So you can see here now the calculation works. I hope you found this really useful. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to check out our newest videos.